Welcome back. Today we're going to look at something called comparative adjectives or rather how to use comparatives to compare people. It's quite often to compare people either by the way they look or the performance or what they do. He's taller than him, he is shorter than him, he is richer. Um, these comparatives can be quite useful to know. We are going to look at a few complex use cases that you can use in various contexts to compare people and things, right? So before we go in, hi, I am Ajit from Capshine. Capshine is a revolutionary learner together English fluency program. With Capshine, learning English is easy, quick, fun, affordable, and effective. And we promise a whole new you in six months or less. So what are comparative adjectives? Well, and where do you use them? Let's look at some use cases. Firstly, comparative adjectives are used to compare a person or a thing with another, obviously. It's also used to compare a person or thing with itself at another time. How I was 10 years back versus now, right? Um, after comparative adjectives, than is often used. I am richer than I was 10 years back, for example, right? What are some of the use cases that we can talk about? So before that, let me show you some examples and then we will go into very specific use cases on how we can compare. For example, I am happier than I have ever been. Notice how I'm comparing myself to myself from the past. And of course, I use the word than. I've found a better hotel with more comfortable beds. So again, um, you're comparing hotels um, and also the level of comfort of the beds that you can find with more, better and more comfortable. Uh, there are more people getting to university than ever before. Again, comparing the number of people getting into university now versus back then. Great. Let's look at one specific use case and then work from there. Much versus many. There are many more people living in Bangalore than Chennai. Do you notice the use case here? So I'm talking about the number of people we're talking about countable nouns and therefore i'm using more in this case again i am using van to signify this comparison those shirts are much more expensive than the ones i bought again more is used um, in this case much is used here because um, expensive is not a countable thing and if you want to know what countable and uncountable is do check out the word do check out a video about countables and uncountables that will tell you a lot about what the rules are for much and more as well so here we're comparing how expensive something is um, again the use of that i was it was much hotter in thailand than in maldives notice how i'm comparing um, how hot something was with much because hotness is not measurable not really you can't say it is 10 hot right um, Centigrades can be measured, of course, um, and of course the use of that. So here we've seen the use of comparatives using much and more, um, or rather much and many um, in different contexts. Again, remember much is un for uncountable things, many is for countable things. Before we get started with the other comparatives, a quick word about our learning program with Capshine. With Capshine, you get access to speaking opportunities. You get to learn and practice as a group. You get a personal coach who gives you monthly fluency report and a customized tracker and feedback. And also the daily micro lessons and life classes help build your foundations and makes you a more confident and capable user of the English language. Do check it out. Let's continue our discussion about comparative adjectives. Not much can also be used. So we saw the other two words, not much can also be used to signify comparisons. My brother is not much taller than me and he isn't much more intelligent either. Notice how much more is used to uh, signify comparisons and also it talks about taller and intelligent and more intelligent showing comparisons in quality between people. You could also use the construction as something as something. This is usually used for uh, actions or behaviors rather than things. Let me show you what I'm talking about. You're as bad a singer as your friend. <clears throat> I'm comparing how bad someone is at something. This is not a thing, it's a quality, right? You're as bad a singer as your friend. Um, the resort was as crowded 
as ever and of course i am as good as raj is right so all these are qualities that i'm comparing and for that if you're comparing two things or two people you could use as blank as something right and that's a great format to compare things as well similarly not as blank as and not so blank as similar com comparison as before let's see how this works the food wasn't as good as yesterday they are not as clever as they appear to be and he is not so old as i thought notice how um, as good as again is a quality as clever as is a quality and old is a quality as well none of these are nouns or things in any way and that brings the end to today's concept of comparative adjectives i hope you found that useful make sure you use these concepts in everyday conversation so that you get an idea or a hang of how they are used if you like the video make sure you like and subscribe hit the bell notification to know you know to not miss other videos like these and of course don't forget to check out the 30 day free trial by going to capshine.com and downloading the app from the play store thanks for watching